Okay, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash, double honors to the apostles, and others are good most mm -hmm. also want, We also want to say uh, Shalom, Mubarakim, Labakarim, Shalom, Shalom, that's peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? This is from, uh, the, the gospel that we preach to, that's our audience, okay? Now, um, today we're going to be discussing um, yeah, uh, a topic going into the... Um, the, the the false pastors, all right. The false pastors of Israel, all right. Because that's really what um, that's actually a prophecy, actually, all right. That the Lord talked about about the, the, there being many many uh, false prophets, all right, coming into His name and and saying all, all manner of evil and all, all manner of of, uh, of nonsense, all right, towards the gospel, all right. Or it could be a a, a wayward doctrine, which it, which is a mixture of the, of whether it be of this gospel or the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai or they could be what Christianity, Catholicism, all right, and Islam, and uh, all these other uh, worldwide religions. That this is totally false, all right. All right, and, sure. and we're going to be in those times, all right, in in, in those future prophecy that um, that dur dur during uh, the time of the last days, which we are in now, that there's going to be a lot of wayward doctrines, all right, a flood of all types of uh, um, of crazy, outlandish type uh, doctrines, you know. Yeah, First John uh, two and twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which that unction is uh, given to the elect. Okay, the elect is the the ones that have that uh, ability to to understand the scriptures and stuff like that. And these other people that you see out here spreading <coughs> false doctrine, whether it be Christianity or another uh, Hebrew Israelite camp that just teaches uh, maybe ninety percent truth, but then ten percent lies. You know, they don't have the unction, or they don't know it. Yeah, or they don't know it. You know, they don't have. But hey, ultimately, they don't have the unction, you know. They don't have that that anointing from the Lord to know the uh, to know how to break down the scriptures and such. Okay. Yes. Matthew. Yep. Matthew chapter seven and fifteen. Beware of false prophets, mm -hmm. which come to you in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beware of false prophets, all right, which come in uh, sheep clothing. Because what in reality, they're not who they who they appear to be. All right. Because the thing is, they, um, hey man, that there, there's a. Whether they, whether they be sincere or not, really, they're just total demons, all right? They're set up to be stumbling blocks towards the elect of the Most High, all right? The chosen out of all the, to the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Stumbling blocks to the two-thirds, right. not to the elect. Right, because the thing is, yeah, yeah, because the, the Lord laid stumbling blocks, all right? And, and, and even without false prophets, the scriptures itself, the name of the Lord itself is a stumbling block to these people. It's a huge stumbling block, all right? You might even have people that, that preach the false name of the Lord, all right? They may know the Israelites. But they might believe believe in a false name like a, a high or something. It's all these are all outlandish uh, uh, doctrines. All right, all right, spirits. All right, because obviously we have the, uh, we, of course, by faith we believe that we have the Holy Spirit, like the brother read in uh, uh, what was that John, the book first of John. John. Yeah, the first uh, the book of First John, where we have the unction and we know all things. We don't know partly of it. We don't know half of it. We don't know more than half. All right, we we know all of it. You know. They're gonna be like you know, as as it is heard, as it is written, the Lord cometh in the volume of the book. Well, we, the spirit of the Lord, we believe that the spirit of Yahweh Shai is working with us, and so we know all things, Old Testament, New Testament, including the Apocrypha. All right, and, and we're in those times. You best believe that you're gonna have people uh, saying all types of man, a manner of evil and uh, uh, blasphemy. All right, Spe speci specifically blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. You you actually have people out there thoroughly believing that that they might be Hamashiach. You know. But that's anti Hamashiach. That's anti Messiah. Mm -hmm. All right, you're you're going against him. Yep. All right, that's to that's totally contrary towards the scriptures. You know, mm -hmm. P people actually believing that cold heartedly that they are the Comforter or something. You know, things like that. that that's, that's blasphemy, man. That, that's crazy. You know. Mm -hmm. So I have a precept right here because now now all hope is lost. All right, like I said, these are just all stumbling blocks, right? In, in this big uh, uh, obstacle course that the Lord uh, set His men through. This is Jeremiah three and fifteen. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right. So <clears throat> as of right now, as we know, we're in the last days, right? So the Lord, look, the Lord has set up pastors, best belief, according to his heart. So we have faith. We know that out there right now and in planet Earth, as we know it, all right, the Lord has set up men that actually have that, that unction, all right, that actually know the scriptures and is actually teaching out of the Bible, in the name, in the names, and the true, true names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right, that that's teaching the, the Bible, all right, and they, they they are actually teaching according to His heart. That's gonna feed you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as sheep, you know. Yeah, let me reread this one, Matthew. Yeah. I didn't get to say anything. 
Matthew 7 and 15, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. And these false prophets, you know, the brother mentioned some of them, man. You know, you got wicked ones out here claiming to be uh, the God sent comforter, man. That's wicked as hell, man. You know, that's that's incorrect, man. All right, because we know that, that that's that's uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yep. That's not some just some man. That's talk about that's that's the spirit of, of Yahweh Shai, right? Mm -hmm. And what that's uh one example of a false prophet. Another example is uh these Christian pastors. All right, uh what do they call them in Islam? Imams, imams, I don't know. Something like that. The Muslims, whoever man, anybody coming to you with that Allah stuff, all right? Uh little word. Mm -hmm. Um, who else? Uh, you know, basically anybody that's coming out here trying to teach you a, a wayward doctrine that's not a Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem or Kakwadash. Point blank, period, all right? Or they could be starting a business, aka uh, Cash App, right? Pastors that only, they're only seeking to, 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 to seek what's in your, in your pockets, mm -hmm. right? Rather than actually godly edifying and actually since do, and doing this out of sincerity of heart. Mm -hmm. You know, even, even by then, you, you don't even know the name of the Lord, you know? Yeah, right. You know, you can do air not knowing the scriptures. Yep. So, um, did you get Jeremiah 23? No, I didn't. Okay, <clears throat> I did not. Come on, so if I can get this uh, precept as well, this is uh, Mark chapter 13, verse 22. For false anointed and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. You know, if it were possible, they would actually, hey, I'm not even gonna say it, but you know, I don't want to contradict the scriptures, all right? But, but hey, even if it were possible, they would deceive the elect. All right, Which all, they all yeah, all types of doctrine. All right, literally, you know. Yeah, if I could say real quick, you even got, for example, you got uh, those in H O. What was it? H O D C. H O H O I. I don't know the, the guys in New York uh, that that's under Zabak. You got them. They they'll teach you some truth. They'll teach you like you know that you're an Israelite. They'll be able to break down the tribes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But they they won't tell you what the microchip is, which is part of the doctrine. Yes. That's actually a huge part of the doctrine because, real quick, I just want to make mention, you know, because we're talking about false. False prophets and false teachers and stuff like that, right? Uh, or, and uh, uh, those those men aren't pastors sent by Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. They look it, you know. They got the diadems, they got the the handcuffs, you know. what I'm saying they got the, uh, you know, they have the nice garments and stuff like that, but they don't have the 100 percent truth. They don't have those things spiritually, like like how the, like how uh, yeah, like how the Lord's uh, anointed do. All right, we may not have all those flashy things, but we have the 100 percent truth, man. Yeah, if right. I can say oh, yeah. really quick, I want to finish. Because, for example, I mentioned the microchip. That's a huge part of the doctrine because when you read in the book of Revelation, it speaks about the elect getting the victory over the beast and his image and, his, and, 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 and the mark, you know? So if they don't have that, you know, then they don't got it, man. You know, that's a huge part of it. You know, just one example. Yeah, if I may add, actually, because <laughs> they made that down, the uh, the doctrine of um, the milk, like, perfectly. They, they can have that down, which that, that's is, that is part of the truth. Knowing you're Israelite, <coughs> knowing that... Uh, you, they, they, you descend out of the 12 tribes, or your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, some camps teach otherwise, all right? Some camps, they, they go really off saying that America's not um, Babylon, or, or you know, uh, saying that uh, the chip is, you know, like the brother mentioned that the mark of the beast is not the chip, you know, all, all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. All types of stuff. And th but this is all uh, prophecy, all right? Yeah, because you got those um, those false anointeds. They were, they oh, think yes. they're anointed. They weren't sent by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? You know, hence yes. they don't preach the one hundred percent truth. They don't like man going back to the unction. They don't have that. Yeah, and, and it's know? heavy judgment for that. Heavy judgment for yeah. Jeremiah, lies. Come on, Jeremiah twenty three <clears throat> and one. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And and you better believe also that you you can actually have the elect actually uh, uh, be in these other camps. All right, but but guess what? They are the elect at the end of the day. So they're actually pure destined to eventually. Coming to the light of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. Because ultimately, even like I got that preached about before, in in the um, in, in the book of Jeremiah, all right. The the Lord right now, remember, He set up men, all right, that that are actually teaching according to His heart. So right now, the, those men are out there, all right. And we, and we believe, all right, starting with the apostles on down to the elders uh, of Great Millstone, that they have to be that the doctrine of uh, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, it would have to be that doctrine according to the Lord's heart. It have to be. We're the mm -hmm. only one that is consistent, diligent. All right, ne never uh, changing uh, 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 or being fickle with the doctrine. All right, we, we, the one hundred percent truth it would have to be Grim Moonstone and anyone else teaching the same doctrine, and of course giving uh, the double honors where it's due. Yeah, which we uh, we have faith that that our elders and apostles have the true one hundred percent true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Rakhak Wadash. As it is written, bro, they have to be out there. Yeah, and their fruits their fruits show it, man. 
okay? You know, they, they can break down the scriptures, all right? There, there's, you know, hey, man, uh, there's never been a time where I haven't had a question that couldn't be answered, man, okay? A about the scriptures, man. It's about yes. the true doctrine, you know? And we can say that, and we say that with faith and with humility, man, because we, we really believe that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is something with them, and that they're breaking it down correctly unto us, man. They are the Lord's uh, pastors, where it says, like you read in Jeremiah, that he would give us pastors according to his heart. We believe that those are the men. Yeah, who, okay? who's pushing the doctrine of faith? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, who's so. preaching the 100% truth? The spirit of prophecy. Yeah. The exact same spirit our Lord is coming in. The mm -hmm. exact same mind. The exact same law of the heart. Yeah. You know? Yep. He, is, that, is that it? Uh, Jeremiah? I'm at, yeah, that was in Jeremiah. Okay. Was Did you want to get a pastor on Enum? Uh, we we'll hold that, hold that off. Did yeah. you get that in Jeremiah though? I read it already. Okay, you can get Isaiah. You can continue then. I already had Isaiah. Wait, go ahead. Isaiah twenty nine and verses uh verse ten. You just read on down. Yeah, for the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes, <clears throat> Salakia, the prophets, and your rulers, mm -hmm. the seers hath he covered, and the vision of all. Is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. If I can say real quick, because, for example, you might can go up to like a, a so-called Christian, you know, preacher, and you ask them to break down revelations. They might tell you that the book is sealed, you know. And if they do try to break it down, they break it down all the way wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, they add, they take away, they break down things incorrectly. You know, which the scriptures tell you not to do. Okay. Um. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. Right. Because, for example, you can, for example, the scholars, they can write commentaries all day about the scriptures. They might even know some things that's right. But guess what? They will never have that. They don't have that unction. All right. Mm -hmm. if, if the Lord isn't something with them, they will never have that unction. And they're not going to be able to break this down to you. All right. It's sealed to them. You know? But guess what? We know that um, when Yahweh Shai. Oh, you got. You got no, no, you can make your point. Yeah, we know that when Yahweh Shai made that sacrifice, what man? The scriptures say he was worthy to unloose the seals, right? Well, guess what? Uh, did he not give the understanding unto the unto the uh, disciples later turned apostles? You know, back then, all right. Do not our elders and apostles do not they do not they have the ability to to break this down to you? You know. Yeah, forget a quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is Amos chapter three verse seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto the servants, the prophets, and mm -hmm. those servants, those prophets. Are the pastors, all right? They're feeding the flock as they're supposed to do, all right? Same as us, all right? Same as the brother, uh, same as, uh, same as whoever watches this video, all right? The hopeful elect, they're gonna be that those pastors, and like the brother mentioned too, all right? The thing is, as sheep, you have you have to actually uh, uh, feed your sheep accordingly, all right? You can't be feeding them all types of crap, <laughs> you know, all types of wayward doctrine. You're, you're gonna scatter the flock, and the Lord clearly spoke against that, you know, what wanted them to do so. All right, death and destruction to those that do so, because guess what? Ultimately, the elect, they're not going to fall, fall under that stumbling block, mm -hmm. under that trap. Right. They, they're going <laughs> to they're gonna have it to where they're going to wiggle their way out of it, so to speak. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it says in Romans um, that all things work together for good mm -hmm. to them that love the most high, to them that are called according to his purpose, you know? Yeah, and if I may say, obviously, that secret, like the brother mentioned, the, the, the seals, that, 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 that has to be uh, unlocked by the prophets. They actually have to understand it, you know? Remember, the Lord revealed his secrets. To, to, the, to, to the servants of the prophets, the, the scriptures, the understanding of it—that's a secret, you know. And it mm -hmm. can't even—it can't even be found. It can't even be bought. You have to be chosen to understand it. Mm -hmm. yep. Truth be told. That's right. That's right. If I could read this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah twenty-nine and twelve, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." And he saith, "I am not learned." Yeah, because what we basically were reading is what that the um, Salakia, you know, basically. Uh, uh, those that the Lord, whom the Lord hath poured the power, uh, the deep sleep upon, they're not going to be able to break this down to you, all right? And that's how we know we're of the light, all right? Because uh, through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Shem Shai, our elders and apostles, you know, with the Lord supping with them, then bringing it down to us, and the Lord opening our eyes to this knowledge, we're able to understand the scriptures and break it down to you. Of course, you know, at the proper time, we can't break down the whole thing, you know, when we're babes. Of course. But, you know, all of it, but what? We, we're slowly but surely growing and learning how to break this down. All right, we're slowly learning, uh, you know, of course, bu being built up to the sincere milk. But yeah. that's the thing. You see, we don't have that spirit of deep sleep, okay? The Lord has awoken us up. But these other people in the world, the false preachers and the false prophets and, 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 and the false teachers and stuff like that, they have the spirit of deep sleep because they're trying to break it down to you, but they can't, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, they, the Lord gave them, uh, uh, what's that, false false illusions, you know, giving them mm -hmm. breakdowns to, to, to precepts that aren't true. But the Lord had it to where they gave them the faith, false faith, 
and uh, what's that? That that spirit to cleave onto the, the, that doctrine, that's just plain wrong. You know, they might believe it, but brother might correct them. You know, and they they just they just set onto it. You know, like nah, nah, bro, this is this is the right doctrine. You know? that, that's so you can tell who's sincere or not, because you can rebuke uh, somebody that's going off, but if they do right, then they're good. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, verse 13 okay. Yeah, Isaiah 29 and 13 Wherefore the Lord said For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth And with uh, Salakia, Draw near me with their mouth And with their lips do honor me and, But have removed their hearts far from me And their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men mm -hmm. Yeah the precepts of men uh, One example would be the, the heaven and hell doctrine uh, And it's even worse because if, if you're even under this trap And the actual man of the Lord tells you and rebukes you on that and actually corrects you. And like, no, this is the way. All right, I can prove it to the scriptures. All right, heaven and hell isn't real. Our reincarnation is a thing. And they still reject it. Then, then, then the Lord clearly uh, gave you up to these, to these, uh, to, to, to these false doctrines. All right, it's clear as day. Mm -hmm. I right, remember the Lord has power over these things. All right, not, not, not us. All right. Mm -hmm. Even by then, the, 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 the elect were preordained to be, to be perfect, to never have that, that, um, that corrupt mind, mind state. Alright, if they did, the Lord healed them from that, and then, then they returned to the, to the true doctrine. Mm -hmm. If I can right. say, mm -hmm. it says, um, with the, uh, but I've removed the, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Cement. Yeah, the, uh, you see people, you see, especially, you know, of course, Israelites, because we're only talking about Israelites here, that what, their, uh, their fear of the Lord is taught by the precept of men, man. They're not taught to fear the Lord properly. You know, oh, they, yeah. they think they think fearing the Lord is just saying, Oh, I love you, God. Remember that uh the mm -hmm. Papa Concholo? Yeah. We love you, Jesus, we love yeah. you, God. Yeah, the established you know? on righteousness. Yeah, like like yeah, that he thinks that that's he thinks that that's honoring the Lord. He thinks that's the fear of the Lord. He mm -hmm. thinks that's doing what you're supposed to be doing. That he thinks that's doing the right thing. That's a, that's another illusion right there, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. You know? You see him pop locking like a monkey at an Edomite's church and the yeah. Edomite patting him on the back and shit. Yeah, if I, if I can get this real quick. You know? Yeah. yeah this is uh first Timothy four and one. Now the spirit speaketh expressively. Then in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Bro, and one of those things is believing that Edomites have sal salvation. <laughs> it's like, I yeah, I couldn't even finish the sentence, but, yo, like, things like this. Yeah. Remember, the Lord actually gave them the faith and the, the, the spirit to believe on these things. And they said, yep, this is, that's the way. You yeah. know, Edomites will be in the... Yeah, thinking yeah, another say. another another thing that these people believe, you know, reading John three sixteen and thinking that applies to everybody. Yeah, bro, that's, that's nah. Yeah, yeah, stumbling blocks, stumbling blocks, bro. Yep. You know? Yeah, but the point is, going back to the whole, uh, uh, you know, the false the false anointeds and the false teachers, the false pastors and the false prophets, man. Hey, man, th those men that teach those things is whom we're talking about. Those are those false prophets. Those are those pastors that scatter the sheep. You know, those mm -hmm. are the ones that are. That are breaking down the scriptures wrong. Those are the ones that are adding and taking away. All right, awesome. the ones that aren't teaching the one hundred percent truth, man. Yep. You know that's why we're mentioning the whole, you know, false doctrines, these illusions, because these things are being taught by men. And, false and like, pastors. yeah, and like our like our Shar, like a captain, you know, Shar Kasap Magan, you know, he said what that spirits teach doctrines. These men, all right, they're possessed by spirits teaching these false doctrines, man, teaching these false ways. Okay. And that's who, that's what we're pointing at. We're saying, look, like the scriptures say, Mark, them which cause division, right? Yes. We're saying, look, that, that guy's going off. Don't go that way. This is, this is, this is the correct way. This is the clean path. All right. It's the straight gate, but it's the clean way and the only way to salvation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if I matter real quick, because, you know, every, every person is possessed by an idea or a spirit. Mm -hmm. you know, even the men of the Lord, they're possessed by, by the Holy Spirit. You that's know? right. And it's, just, and it's the same thing on the left hand side with these other, uh, these other demons out here, man. They say the doctrines of devils, the doctrine that is totally contrary towards the Lord. All right, and even then, it's like, it's like towards even with like the the attitude of a man. All right, because the thing is, what if you come up to a man of the Lord and that the word of the Lord is actually being brought out, maybe you know, harsh or rough, so to speak. You know, maybe he's using a lot of rude language, mm -hmm. but the message is correct. But if someone comes up teaching, you know, in like a, a low and a lowly voice and a calm and soothing voice, you know, that's the things I don't know, tingling sensations in your ears and whatnot, you know, m m making you feel comfortable and are saying all types of smooth things, right? But the Lord, the Lord spoke against that. Though there will be, you know, smooth things, that they're, the, they're the seats. I have the precept. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 30 and 10. No, I'm going to start at 9. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm going to start at uh, 8. Oh, you get to the point. Huh? You get to the point. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 10. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Yeah, man, so it doesn't matter how, how it comes out. They don't care about the message, ultimately. They, they just care about how, 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 um, 
how they're gonna find that consolation because that's what it's about. If, if I can say real quick, so like it because it says what the, when you read up above it says this is the rebellious people because it's talking about Israel which is doing that. You know, because Israel, <clears throat> so like Israel doesn't want to hear that Esau is going down. You know, and when I say Israel, I'm talking about the two thirds, the ones that actually don't want that to happen because the elect will want it to happen. The elect do want it to happen. Okay, and we believe to be the hopeful elect. Mm -hmm. And what you see, um, the rebel, the rebels, <laughs> the rebels of our nation, the two thirds club. Mm -hmm. All right, you see, they they want they they like the pastors, man. They like the 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 the, the Islam. They they love those things because they telling them, oh, be happy, love, peace. You know, uh, 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 pro uh, prosper here in America. That's what they want to hear. They love that shit, man. But it's the wrong message. Yeah, but what, what, what do our elders and apostles tell us? What do our, our teachers tell us? What do our masters tell us? They tell us, hey, man, this place is going down, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And the Lord's going to chasten us, man. And we have to go through things. And we have to and we have to uh, bear the indignation. We have to go through all these things mm -hmm. to get the kingdom. Yeah. To get to the good part, we have to go through the bitter. That's mm -hmm. the truth. Because you see, these people, they just want the sweet. They don't want. They don't want to know about about taking the bitter before getting to the good part. You know, they want the kingdom. They want to live however they want to live here, and then die and go to the kingdom because that's what they think it is. You know. Yeah, they're stuck into their own paths. Yeah. So we can get to uh, Isaiah fifty six. Yep. This is the book of Isaiah <coughs> chapter fifty six, and I'm gonna start at verse ten. ten. So like, yeah, Isaiah fifty six and ten. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Yeah. Well, hey, the Lord that, called us. Oh, so like, no, yeah, it's cool. The Lord called us watchmen. You know, we're, we're supposed to be giving a status reports to the nation of Israel. You know? If I could say, mm -hmm. but we're the watchmen that are not holding their peace day or night. Yeah. You know, that's the difference because it said here they are they dumb do. dogs, right? Mm -hmm. But that means to not to speak, right? Because it says they cannot bark. Yeah, because, yeah, for example, these preachers, they don't tell you, and some of them do. Some of them do tell you that... Um, you know, about tribulation that's going to come. Because some of them do. You know, I, when I was younger, I went to church. They told us about that. But they told us that we were going to get raptured or some shit. You know? Something that's not in the scriptures. Which yes. the word rapture is not in the scriptures. So I'm right? per percentages of the truth. Yeah, yeah, if I could say. Because what it says here. Well, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Because what? Ultimately, these these uh, these other false anointeds out here, they're not they're not, they're not warning you. Right, they're not warning you. They're not telling you that Jacob's trouble is coming for you, Israelites. Not being and, instant. Yeah, and then yeah, no, no, that's all, that's all good. And they're not telling. Yeah, that's another one. They're not being instant in season out of season. They're not telling you that Jacob's trouble is coming and that's going to come upon all of us, man. They're not telling you that that we're going to be here for the tribulation. You know, I believe IUIC teaches that, if I'm not mistaken. You know, uh, yeah. verse uh, eleven. Mm -hmm. Yay, they are. Yay, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Yeah, and you can see that, man. Uh, Creflo Dollars, TD Snakes, to destroy Jakes, TD Jakes, whatever whatever his name is, mm -hmm. man. You know? These men out here, man, they're greedy as hell, man. Living I remember lavishly, too. Yeah, living really lavishly, man. Their kids going on, um, their kids go private to private schools, schools and such, man. <laughs> um, they are Yo. they are shepherds that cannot understand. Yeah, because these men, they, they don't have understanding. They lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They might have some knowledge, but they lack the wisdom and the understanding. The scriptures say with all that getting, get understanding, man. Uh, they cannot understand, that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. Yeah, they look, they're looking to satisfy themselves, man, their own belly, man. Mm -hmm. They're looking to, to take your money, man. They're looking to tell you what you want to hear, man. Right. You know? And that's the thing, man. That's why people, that's why people, uh, 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 a lot of Israelites, they lose faith in the scriptures because they're like, they think that the preacher is the faith of Salakia. They think that a preacher, a pastor in a church, a so-called pastor in a church is, is the face of the man supposed to be teaching, but that's not the case, man. The real teachers are on the streets, man, starting with our elders and apostles. That's right. You know, the real, that, th hey, like, like, um, ah, uh, Salakia, the scriptures say that the priest's lips should keep knowledge, right? Well, guess what, man? Those, those pastors inside them churches ain't no priests, man. All right? They're false, they're false pastors, man, false prophets, man. The men that you see out there, uh, uh, teaching the, the word, man. Our elders and apostles, starting with them, they've been doing it for decades, man. They're the real, they're the real uh, uh, priests, man. They're the high priests. They're the ones that are that are truly leading correctly, man. Yeah. They're the ones breaking down the scriptures properly and such, man. Yeah. If I may add too, I mean, the, like the bro mentioned, like these these false pastors in the, in, the, in these churches, they're not even teaching you your nationality. That's like the f remember the, the brother mentioned being a babe, right? That's yeah. like the first thing you you learn. You're 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 an Israelite, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. If you're a Hispanic, if you're a so-called uh. uh Black man, if you're a so-called Native American man, you come from this tribe, that tribe. That or is teaching you that. Yeah. Actually, we go as far as to, if you don't even look like one of us, oh, man. you know, that's how deep the spirit can go, man. 
I'm you know, gonna, yeah. there's people that have come up that don't even look like a so-called Negro, Latino, <clears throat> Native American, but then with time and through the spirit, we find out who they truly are, man. All right, we try the spirit with with the spirit with the word, man. Mm -hmm. So that was it. Um, uh, yeah, uh, real quick, mm -hmm. because it said, you know, basically this was talking about those, the greedy, the greedy dogs, which, um, so like, yeah, his watchmen are blind, you know, like I said in verse 10, because what, right now you see, um, so like, yeah, you see these, uh, preachers out here, they're, um, they're supposed to be, you know, they're supposed to be the watchmen, but they're not, they're not being watchmen, you know, they're not looking out for prophecies, they're not doing these things, man, you know, they're not being diligent to teach you, you know, they might... Go to church every Sunday and not miss a Sunday, but they're not teaching you the right thing anyway. So it's pointless. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah, I got, I got one more piece of just to end it off. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 14 and 14. <clears throat> then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them. You know, and real quick, just like it says in uh, Matthew, you, you, you might have camps out there that know the Israelites, and they might even say, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, Bashem Kakadash. All perfectly. The doctor might be good. But at the end of the day, like, it all, it all comes down to the truth. It all comes down to the truth. And the fact that there is a truth, that, that tells you that there's there's uh, there's a bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. All right? And that that's what these uh, these other camps, these, these false uh, prophets, false um, false anointed, they all have a, they all have that one crack in their doctrine, all right? It's always a, it's always a nasty lie, all right? It just messes up the whole thing, all right? So mm -hmm. it has to be 100% truth. Yeah, ultimately, they don't have that thawa. Right. You know, the exemption from judgment because what they don't have that, um, they don't have the unspotted doctrine, you know? Yep. They have, not they have holes, they have leaven. Yeah, they're not teaching. Like the Shar said. Yeah, they're not teaching according to the Lord's heart. Yep. Verse 14, then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They, they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, mm -hmm. and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Yep. False divinations, false visions, or oh, I, I had a dream. You know, I had a vision. The Lord sent me a vision. You know, uh, they, they might they might just start talking smack about uh, uh, Great Moonstone or any other brothers. You know, whatever it may be, right? These demons are demons. You know. Um, continuing on, one last verse, verse uh, <clears throat> verse fifteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. You know, and the Lord has a very very Funny, uh, really good sense of humor, right? Because you know they, they could say all types of things, and the Lord just might just pull a one eighty, and, and that might just be the judgment, you know. And, and, and like written the uh, earlier in one of the early precepts in Jeremiah, all right, woe be unto those uh, wicked pastors that scattered the Lord's flock. Because mm -hmm. if you are doing these things, you're leading your uh, your flock, your, the 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 sincere sheep, onto a, a damn cliff, all right. I and, and and it's nothing, and it's nothing but, but it's going to be a, a a bitter end, you know. Just like it says in Proverbs, you know, uh, although it seems, um, although that, that that way that you choose may seem good unto you, but really it's, it's just a bitter end, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, read this real mm -hmm. quick. This is the last precept. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ezekiel 33 and 6, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hands. And a quick example of a watchman that's not blowing the trumpet is, uh, I think they're under Zabak too, man. What is it called? I forgot what they're called, man. Uh, it was the right. dude, the chief Ephraim guy. Uh. Remember, he gave a real roundabout answer about the microchip. You know, he couldn't be, he couldn't be straight up. And guess what, man? That's just being wicked, man. Because guess what? That's a huge thing. Life and death prophecy. Yeah, that's a life and death <clears throat> thing, man. And guess what? You decided to just go around it. Beating around the bush. Yeah, he, be, he was beating around the bush, man. He said, I believe that, that all the Caesar Borger and the image and the, this, this, and that. And it's like, whoa, we broke it down at camp not too long after he... I believe it was like the day after or a few days after or the week after he said that, that we broke down the difference. But I believe we... Oh, no, no. I think it was the elder, um, the big bro, Yashawan, but he broke down the difference between the image and the mark. It was you an know? HOI member. But, yeah. But yeah, but the point is what? That's, that's an example of someone that's not blowing the trumpet. All right, because instead of giving you the, the straight skinny and telling you what it really is, he went around the question, man. He, mm -hmm. he, did, he gave you a roundabout answer. He couldn't give you a straightforward answer. Yep. That's him not blowing the trumpet. Yeah. So, uh... You, you abandon your post, you know, in the sense that the Lord's going to require you. Um, oh, oh, no, he that? said that, oh, he okay. said that. Okay. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Ooh. Verse 7, we'll finish with this one. Mm -hmm. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. 
which yeah. Mean, which yeah, which which the Lord told us to consume the whole roll, and we're supposed to teach the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, it's vice versa. You know, if they don't, if hey. If these false prophets don't uh, don't even do their their job as a as being a demon, mm -hmm. you know, hey, that, I mean, nonetheless, they're they're in as a bitter one. But we got to do our job as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Warn the people, give them warning from him, you know, according to his heart. Teach them the truth, because if we don't, it's gonna be it's gonna be our our bottom too, you know. Mm -hmm. and that's gonna be a bitter end, you know. Then, you know, so with that, Lord's will, Lord's will, that was edifying. Again, we want to give uh, all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Again, double honor to the apostles and elders that gave most on the GMS who were well mm -hmm. and will tell us this truth. Peace and salutations be unto your fellow Akim, your brothers that are also pushing out this word and true faith and its sincerity. And so with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.